Albury Murray. Next year will mark the 50th anniversary of Albury Wodonga being designated a resettlement area for Aboriginal families coming from the missions, reserves and from smaller communities. And a local theatre group is planning on bringing this part of our history to life on the stage. They're on the search for stories and experiences from community members who remember this time. We're joined now by someone who does Valda Murray, who came to Albury through the resettlement scheme, and Tiffany Ward, who is the Hot House Associate Producer, First Nations. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Now, what did it mean to be a designated resettlement area, Tiffany? Uh, Albury Wodonga is a mixed mob community, and the resettlement scheme is a really vital part of why that is. And I just think it's a really important story that our, our local community needs to hear. I know I didn't know that Aubrey was part of a resettlement scheme, so uh, I think that our community needs to be aware of it. Um, and we just we really want to speak with all the families and elders in the community who moved to Aubrey through it. And so all these stories will then be taken with permission, um, made into a script to be put on for production in 2022 at Hot House Theatre. And do you know why Aubrey Wodonga was part of the scheme? Like, what did it mean to be chosen as a resettlement area? I think... Uh, for me, it was it was a time when there were trying to, I guess, increase numbers in, in various communities, and particularly offering opportunities to Aboriginal people to come to those communities. And I mean, Albury wasn't the only one. There were other places like Wagga, Griffith, Orange, and so it was people had a choice, so, which was good. And there were, you know, people came from many parts across New South Wales, some even from Queensland, some from Victoria, and it was under the Fraser era, so federal government. There was also the Albury Wodonga Development Corporation they were involved, as well as the, the Albury Aboriginal Land Council. And what was it that brought you to Albury, Felder? What brought me to Albury was I already had a brother that was living here. So the choice for me was easy because, you know, he was already here and he liked it here, his family. So, yeah, the choice for me was pretty simple. So he was working for the Albury Council um, as a grader operator and so I came from a small town of western New South Wales, um, a little place called Val Reynolds. So it was four hours away, um, wasn't that far. But we had quite a few, you know, coming from um, well, Kenya, Broken Hill, a lot of those other smaller little country towns. So was this move uh, a sad time or was it a happy time for you coming to be with your brother? It was a happy time for me because there, well, again, a lot of those smaller places, there's not a lot of opportunities. And particularly back in those days, particularly for Aboriginal people, you know, you don't get a, a look in, you don't get the chance, the opportunities that others were getting. So I took the opportunity to come to Albury because it was a promise of a better way of living, job opportunities, better health, housing, education. So that's sort of what I get intrigued me. Is that what you found when you arrived? What do you remember about that time? Oh, look, it, it certainly took a little while to settle in because it, it certainly was different um, and it was a lot, lot bigger than, you know, growing up in Barrel. But for me, it's been, I guess, probably one of the best decisions and moves that I've made because I've, I think the important thing is you get out of life what you put into it, so you've got to have a go. So I thought, well, you've got to, you know, keep putting in, having a go. Took a while. Took me six months really to to drive. Um, because you were afraid to drive in the the big town. Yeah, I mean, it had it had life, it had hills. You know, you had to reverse park. <laughs> all those silly little things, I know, but. I still don't reverse parallel park, Melda. So, <laughs> and what what year was it that you that you came to Albury? Do you remember? About seventy eight, I think. Seventy eight. Okay, you're hearing from Velda Murray, who moved to Albury uh, as it was one of these resettlement areas. 
a lot of promise for Aboriginal people coming from missions, reserves, smaller communities. Uh, and we're also joined by Tiffany Ward, who is Hot House Associate Producer, First Nations. Uh, Tiffany, what attracted you to this history for a theatre project? Uh, so, yeah, Valda has been um, approaching Hot House, um, talking about how the 50th anniversary of the, of the resettlement scheme was coming up and we, she wanted uh, to do something to acknowledge and celebrate that. So I just, uh, when I heard about it, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't aware that um, Aubrey was part of a resettlement scheme and I just thought it was just an amazing story and something that the community really needs to hear about. What, what, what kind of stories are you hearing, uh, you know, besides Valda's about uh, what the resettlement scheme meant for people who arrived, the fact that it did make the community mixed mob, uh, was it a time of, of promise for, for people? Uh, so we haven't really heard, heard any other stories yet as we want to put the word out there that we really want people to come uh, and tell out their stories. Uh, from what I've researched, I've said that there was a promise to a better life, um, you know, better education, health, um, more opportunities for Aboriginal people, uh, but, yeah, we're really just wanting to put the word out that well, we want to hear everyone's stories. And do you have any idea what this production will, will look like, how it will come together? Not really. Um, so, yeah, we're just doing the research and getting all the stories together at the moment. But we have a working title called Bungamba Wassa, um, which is the Indigenous name for Aubrey, before it was Aubrey, um, and it means homeland in the Wiradjuri language. Beautiful. Well, Valda, what do you reckon? You got any ideas for how you want this to be seen on stage? Um, again, as Tiff said, not really, because until we hear people's stories, we don't know how it will play out. So we're hoping that we're going to have heaps of people coming forward to share their stories. We need to hear the good ones and the bad ones so we can sort of hear, because not everyone had a good experience or, you know, they, they saw it as... Um, something different to what I did because, you know, some people sort of only stayed a short time and then they uh, went back to where they came from or where they moved from. So mm. not everyone's experience was, I guess, good. It didn't they? work out for everyone. It didn't work out for everyone. Mm. Well, thanks to both of you for joining us this morning and best of luck with the project. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Valda Murray there, who moved to Albury as part of the resettlement scheme back in the 70s, and Tiffany Ward, who's Hot House's associate producer, First Nations. So they're working on this project to bring together those stories about resettlement 50 years ago. So if you have a story to share about the resettlement scheme and you can help Hot House out, there's a few ways you can get in touch. Uh, I'll give you a couple of email addresses and a phone number if you want to go and grab a pen. Uh, I'll give them out in just a moment. But you can also share your experiences and knowledge here too. We'd love to hear from you, one 147 222 or you can text in 0467 842 So if you've ever wondered why the Albury wodonga area is, as Tiffany was saying, a mixed mob area, and the resettlement scheme is a really big part of that. So if you do want to send Tiffany an email, uh, she's on creative trainee at hothousetheatre.com.au, so creative trainee at hothousetheatre.com.au. We can also reach Valda on VF Murray, so VF Murray at bigpond.net.au.